The trial of three men accused of murder and the death of Ahmad Arbery continues today as state prosecutors continue calling witnesses for their case. Here's three things you'll need to know. So two more witnesses were called to the stand on Tuesday. Both were officers with the Glynn County Police Department who responded to the scene and both said Gregory McMichael did not tell them the three defendants were making a citizen's arrest. Later today, Reverend Al Sharpton and Ahmad Arbery's parents will hold a prayer vigil and that's set to happen when the court breaks for lunch. Now this morning court resumes at 9 a.m. just a couple of hours from now on your side. Renata Gregorio is live in Brunswick. She has more and reaction from Ahmaud Arbery's mother Wanda Cooper Jones from just yesterday. Good morning Renata. Good morning, Keitha. Prosecutors are really focusing on whether Greg McMichael told the first responding officers that he was trying to make a citizen's arrest. Two more yesterday said that he did not say that to them. Also, what the jury has learned here yesterday is that Greg McMichael apparently told one of the first responding officers that he didn't think Ahmaud Arbery had stolen anything from the construction site. Did you use the word citizen's arrest? No, ma'am. Detective Parker Marcy with the Glynn County Police Department testified Greg McMichael says he recognized Ahmaud Arbery from surveillance videos from a house under construction. Marcy asked Greg McMichael if Arbery took anything from the home. He says, and I'm quoting, you know, not that I recall. I don't think the guy has actually stolen anything out of there, or if he did, it was, it was early in this process but it keeps going back there over and over and over again. The defense attorneys had the officers read transcripts in which Greg McMichael says several times that he suspected Arbery of entering the vacant house and that they were trying to detain him. New information for the jury. After Arbery had entered the home under construction, a Georgia power truck pulled up and a worker used the porta potty. Here's Arbery's mother, Wanda Cooper Jones. It's very saddening knowing that my son had just had just entered that same property minutes before. And then another guy came by in this Georgia Power utility truck and used that, went into that same property. And that gentleman is still now alive today, and my son is deceased. Wanda Cooper Jones says she wants to hear from Greg McMichael in court to find out what he was thinking that day. Live in Brunswick, Renata Di Gregorio, First Coast News, on your side. Thanks for that, Renata. And folks, don't forget our coverage continues online, including analysis from First Coast News legal experts. We have a lot of details right now in a section just for this coverage, the death of Ahmaud Arbery. This trial coverage, just go to firstcoastnews.com or check out that First Coast News app.